Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have a viral math challenge. We're going to learn how to solve for this angle. We're given this triangle right here, and it has some properties. We have triangle A, B, C, and angle B is 20 degrees, angle C is 80 degrees, length A, C is equal to length D, B, and we have a line that cuts here for A to D, and it creates some missing angle, and we need to find that angle measurement. We're given a special rule though, we can only use elementary geometry to solve this, no trig. So I want you to try to see if you can solve this problem and pause this video and see if you can come up with a solution. If you've done that or you just want to keep on watching, just keep on moving forward. Alright, so now we're going to learn how to solve this problem. First thing I notice here is we have 80 degrees and 20 degrees here for angle C and D. Let's see if we can figure out what angle A is, but specifically angle C, A, B. The measurement of angle C, A, B is equal to 180 degrees minus the 80 degrees minus the 20 degrees right here. And that actually comes out to be, well, a good old 80 degrees. So right here, the measurement of angle C, A, B, I'm going to overlock the whole thing here, is an 80 degrees. So what does that tell us now? Well, angle B, C, A, and C, A, B are both 80 degrees, meaning that this triangle here is an isosceles triangle. The base angles are the same, making their side lengths the same as well. So that means C, D, or C, B is equal to, the length of C, B is equal to the length of A, B. Alright, and so now we have this special little information. Let's go put a little double dash right here to show that, but remember I'm referring to the whole length when I do this. Okay, now again, like always, don't judge my triangle. They're not necessarily drawn to scale. Now I'm going to do something tricky. I'm going to create a new triangle within this triangle. We're going to create an equilateral triangle. I'm going to draw a line from A down here such that connecting from A to this point, let's call it E, and that connects to B like so. Drawing this now again, not to scale, that they're all have the same side length as A, B. Which is congruent right here. So A, B, whoops, put a length there is congruent to then EB, which is congruent to AE. Oops, straight bar there. All right. What do we then know about, well, equilateral triangles? All the angles are 60 degrees, the interior angles. And so angle E here has to be a 60 degrees as well. Right here we can say that, well, E, B, D, that angle, has to add up, well, the overall, they want to 60 degrees. So angle here, D, B, E, is a 40 degrees, making these two add up to be 60. Now the tricky part here is, well, 80 degrees fills this whole spot. So if E, A, B is 60 degrees, let's say this part here, a little double line here, that's 60 degrees, this part right here has to be a 20 degrees. Okay, so now I'm going to add another line. I'm going to connect C to E right here. And what does that do for me? Now again, like I said before, this isn't drawn to scale. But I know that C, B, that length is equal to, well, E, B. Alright, they're congruent right there. Meaning we have an isosceles triangle. So isosceles triangles means the base angles are, well, congruent. So let's go find out what this base angle needs to be. Well, we take 180 degrees and we subtract 40 from it. Then we're going to divide that by 2. That comes out to be 140 over 2, which is equal to 70 degrees. And that's going to equal there the measurement of angle uh, B, E, C. And that's equal to B, C, E. right there. So if they're each equal to 70 degrees, right here, C, E, A has to then equal 
10 degrees. 70 minus 60 is that 10 degrees, not 100. I'm now gonna focus on two triangles within this picture. Triangle A, B, D, and triangle uh, E, A, C. What do we notice about these two triangles? Well, line segment A, B is congruent to line segment E, A. Then they both have a 20 degree angle right here. Then they have a line segment B, D, which is equal to A, C. And so these two triangles are congruent, if I can write the congruent symbol, by side, angle, side. You know that was gonna come in handy one day. So if these two triangles are congruent by side, angle, side, then the measurement of angle A, D, B has to equal 80 plus 70, right, to match up here, 80 degrees plus 70 degrees, which is 150 degrees. Now with that information right here, 150 degrees, we can now find the measurement of angle C, D, A. That is 180 minus 150, and gives us a good old 30 degrees. And there we have it. Our final answer for that angle measurement is 30 degrees. Did you solve this problem? Let me know down in the comment section below if you did. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we have a fun problem for you. We're gonna learn... Uh, Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have a viral math challenge for you. We're given this problem right here. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please... Uh, that's not what he said. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math problems for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.